Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake in a scary part of the game. We are all alone in the ward. We... Do not have ammunition, we can't fight. Go, go, go! Oh, thank you. Oh, boy. But he's very pushy. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Totally. I'll do what I can. All right, upstairs we need to get. Get to the writer's room in the manor house attic. Will do. I was actually afraid. I do not know how linear, upstairs. by the way. Yep, the upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. How many options to go left and right in the ward were? But anyways. We loop around and come to Kettletom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest bulb. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can keep life or drown it. Akti, I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm. Now there's a devil in the fish trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay, I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ahti. Yeah, cheers. I was here. Huh? I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Okay, before we... Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. Alright then, let's go. Wait a second. Yeah, I cannot change scenes, I right? An ending that took everything already in Return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. 
Ah, there we go. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Pay. <coughs> Pay. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before. But it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. The final DFS. End of chapter. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's go on then. I guess we are gonna take over Saga now, right? Might that be? going on am I in the field office no it's the mine place it is I can't sense anyone to do anything in my the work case. it's all gone what the hell is happening where is everything Nothing's working. I can't think straight. Yes, and I guess this is going to be the first time we I are going to be able... Okay. Why can't I leave? Now we have something for the case board, right? Look for a way to leave. Yes. Okay, well, wait. Yes. There we go. The dark presence took over Casey. Stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? <laughs> what? Okay, my... Failed who? What's happening to the case okay. board? I have no clue what just happened. This is the dark place. I have to get out of here. Took the clicker. I'm in the dark. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. How to leave. You failed them. Okay, profiling. Hello. I can profile us. Fair enough. The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in a dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. 
What is happening here? This isn't me. Okay, let's start with Logan. I'm Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. Casey. Casey. Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Mm hmm Something's very fucking wrong here. Okay, still leave. Do we have some... Casework to do, otherwise I would just try the door again. Yes, there we go. Uh, bup, 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 close. Scratch took Casey, and it's my fucking fault. I am a terrible mother. I let my daughter die. A failure. This is what I deserve. You fucked everything up. All right then. Profiling. Hello. Other saga. Okay, that Story. makes kind of sense. My life, my family is just part of a book. Another white asshole deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. Mm hmm. She's not dead. God damn it. Okay, wait a sec. You're the only one who won't accept she's dead. Uh, what makes more sense, everyone is wrong, or you are. And if you hadn't been at work, she'd still be alive. Oh boy. I think, yes, that is a normal reaction of the human psyche, right? But that brings you in such a dark place mentally. She died alone and scared, begging you for help, and you weren't there. As much as I can understand the situation, how that would screw you up mentally as the I mean I cannot relate since stuff like that never has happened but to me uh, anyways as the water filter lungs she realized you weren't coming oh boy now can you even still call yourself a mother after you you let your only child die no I'm done with this I just keep you're blaming back a horror story instead of yourself, you coward admits she... Wait. Uh, you're blaming a horror story instead of yourself, you coward admit she's dead and you killed her. You killed her. You killed her. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. This case... This room... Is any of it even real? Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. Yo, 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 yo. Guys, that then already brings us right now to the end of today's episode. We will in the next one go over the casework we still have to do and then maybe are even having the possibility to get out of this situation. For now, you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If I guys actually do have enjoyed today's episode, then please give me a little tinsy thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.